Nipsey Hussle out here slapping the shit out of folks. Nicki Minaj can't twerk more than a Granny Smith apple. And Anita Baker's tribute was a fool. The 2018 BET Awards. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. Cooking in the kitchen like stir fry. Girl, I don't know the words, but I know Yolanda Adams, queen of Christianity, was sitting there singing a song, girl. What church you go to, honey? Let's get into the 2018 BET Awards. What did we think? Girl, let me tell you something. I hated it. Regina Hall, girl, what was your tea? Regina Hall walked up on that podium, and she was like, the ghetto, girl, she was not excited at all. Who pissed Regina Hall off? Now they said that it was the teleprompter lady. Then my friend, Mr. Pierre over, child, his crazy ass, the Freaky Boys rap up child. He said that the issue was the teleprompter. These folks can't read, that's what the T is. Now I think Regina Hall can read. I don't think that's her problem. But somebody pissed her ass off. Overall, the 2018 BT Awards, girl, seemed like it was all over the place. Inside T is coming in saying that um, Childish Gambino was supposed to perform. Janet Jackson was supposed to perform as well. As well as some other artists that kind of pulled out last minute. Now, we trash the BT Awards every year. We do. We do all the award shows. I know I do. But this one right here was not the T at all. I think BT, y'all are really lacking in the boardroom. Y'all are lacking young um, people who are watching, who are not, you know, paying cable, who are streaming and stuff. Y'all don't get... Y'all not reaching us. Y'all not reaching the people who really want to sit up here and tweet about the show. Uh, Y'all had Jamie Foxx as the host. Jamie Foxx treated this award show like it was a comic view back in 1980 or 1990. And that's not where we're at right now. That's just not. A lot of them, a lot of the jokes were very cringy. Jamie Foxx doing the well Wanda type of shit instead of Wakanda. Girl, that shit was misogynistic and garbage as fuck. Like, no ma'am, I don't want to see Jamie Foxx um, dressed up in a wig, with makeup on, with red lipstick and making fun of black women. I just don't. Not in this day and age. I'm not interested in We've been down that road. Um, girl, we're not interested. Boys to me and tees. Like, here's so long. Girl, we're not interested in that. Jamie Foxx overall as a host, I think he had his funny moments. But overall, it was very cringy. Like, these was, this was the most cringiest award show I've ever watched. And I think that's because black folks tried to make an award show. I think the BET Awards tried to kind of follow this white award show thing. And it's not working for us. We are naturally funny. I know you have to have structure and shit and everything and you do to make it work. But y'all seem to be trying to follow a model that does not work for us. Um, that's why I don't listen to YouTube and other folks when they try to tell me how to do my content. But girl, it was just... It was trying to be whitewashed ghetto, and it was gentrification nation, and I just wasn't here for it. Jamie Foxx is a host, I like him. I think he sounded good with his tribute with Anita Baker, but overall, the hosting was just not there. You can tell that they were trying to feel moments and stuff. It was just terrible. It was just terrible as far as the hosting. Jamie Foxx, it's just not that funny like that. He's just not. Y'all didn't get some of these tests on these young folks, but child, y'all be trying to test some of these young folks on Instagram and stuff, and they can't do an interview live to say they lie, so yikes. The three shiny pop Pirates performed, um, well, five pirates or whatever you want to call them, the shiny pirates. Um, Migos uh, performed. Kitchen stir fry, ah, rap, boring, boring, and more boring. Um, they was over here doing a blue suede shoe move, and I just, it was just boring as hell. Jamie Foxx trying to be funny, doing that shit, presenting the award to um, Tiffany Haddish for best actress. I don't know why the hell y'all gave Tiffany Haddish an award for best actress. Tiffany Haddish is an actress, but I don't think she actually acts in her movies. I have not seen that yet. She's been playing the same character. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's a lot of other folks who do that, but it's just not the best actress. Now we have um, my homegirl, Miss Cherie. You must know her real name. I'm too tipsy to even tell her real name. But you had Angela Bass and all these other folks in there. Y'all named girl Tiffany Haddish. She ready, but she wasn't ready for that award. This is America. Charles Gambino got up on y'all ass. It looked like he was a confused black person that had to do black shit that does not. Alice Gavino got to the stage, girl. Jamie Foxx said, come up here. This is America. Don't keep me sleeping. Um, and he got up there and he looked like a scary ass black person that does not know how to be black, girl. Chaz Gambigo, girl. Girl, I, I just, you looked a mess. You, you like, it just, I don't know. Chaz Gambino seemed lost. He did not bring his white wife. He should have because it would have been really Wakanda forever. Uh, but girl, this is America. Um, he got up there, Jamie Foxx was talking about how important this is America is. Didn't really give two shits. Sir performance, sir, you did good. Love you and your beautiful locks. Sounded great. 
Um, who else sounded good? Her, oh my gosh, I have not listened to her. There's plenty of people who have told me about her album. Um, and she is everything, and I need to get into her album. I'm very late. She sound amazing with the young man she sung with. Like, she really, like, made me, like, get up. I was like, okay, this is cute. Like, this is what I'm wanting because some of these performances were just very dry. And speaking of dry performances, we have to talk about Chun-Li. I don't know who opened the award show. I really don't remember because I was late. It, it doesn't even matter. But we got to get to Miss Barbie Teens. Bentley Teens on. Girl, what's the... <laughs> Girl, the Chun Lee jumped in. Girl, it was Chun Lie, cause you lied to us and made it seem like that you was gonna perform. Girl, so she was Chun Lie. Um, a Chun Lee performance when Nicki Minaj came out, she sounded good. I thought it was cute. The energy was all right. Then it just started going down here when she started to twerk. Nicki, your ass cannot twerk. And when I say your ass, I mean literally your ass can't twerk. It cannot move. It's an immovable object, meeting a uh, non-existent force. So meaning that it doesn't have any motion at all. So stop trying to make twerk happen. We know you're a struggle twerker. Just accept that shit. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It just won't. Uh, Bentley King's on because your ass was moving like a Buick Regal. Stop. I felt like I was at an auction. Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred, four hundred, five. See y'all. See Because that's how your ass moves like an old Oldsmobile. Girl, don't do it. Uh, she put that leg up. I was like, <laughs> what is you doing, Nikki? You cannot. Nikki has zero stage presence. I don't care how you feel. I would tell Nikki to her face. You have zero stage presence. Nikki Minaj honestly reminds me of some of these beautiful IG folks who, when you meet them in person, they don't have any personality. That is literally Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj has no personality at all. She just don't. And if you feel some type of way, I encourage you to go watch my uh, Nicki It Ain't Working video. Go watch it right now, because, girl, that's all I got for you. Um, that's all I got, sis, okay? But um, as you all know, the King of Reads is here, honey. Um, YouTube channel is now King of Reads. I hope y'all are enjoying all the content and stuff that's been coming that is going to continue to come on King of Reads YouTube channel, as well as kingofreads.com, and as well as for the culture. So girl, I'm just working on so much shit. We're working. But back on Nicki Minaj because somebody needs to be working because she ain't working. She ain't ready. She performed some other song with YG. Um, I know gang, gang, gang. Um, I don't know. Bunny Tank Big Bank, some bullshit. It was cute. She was hopping on a glitter pony, unicorn or some shit. I just didn't understand that. Um, honey, who was his name? Came out. Big Sean came out. He started rapping. I get Big Sean and Fabulous confused. I don't know why. But Big Sean came out. He rapped and, you know, Nikki was rapping. It's just, Nikki doesn't have any stage presence. She just looks, I did not like her mullet. I did not, I, I ain't like that. I just, I want, I don't know what I wanted Nikki to have. But I'd rather for her to have two. Two what's nice, but that, I'd rather for her have two sticks in her bun. But girl, she had two sticks because she's done. Because <laughs> cause the, the performance. She is a no-go, Nikki. Girl, you was dancing around like you was on a pogo stick, bitch. I hated it so much, girl. I, I hated it. But you look good. Um, the set looked boring. Your dancers, girl, they was over there getting the bitch. They was over there slap, slap, pow, pow, pow. Too much. Doom, doom, doom. Giving me everlasting life here for it but your performance girl i don't even know you do the words do you know the words of your own song probably not brian cooler is such a fine ass man his movie won best film of course let's talk about it ryan cooler i love when he talks to that man no he i bet you i bet you his wife loves sitting on his face ryan cooler has a beautiful i love the way he speaks he has that fat ass gap I know he just lick, lick a tongue. I'm start calling him lick a tongue. Ryan Cooper, you so damn fine. I love your black ass. I love you. I love the way you speak. I love your accent. I love you as a human being. Um, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this black condo bullshit that BET was doing. Girl, when y'all did that commercial with Jamie Foxx walking and like they was doing the damn Coming to America shit, I just knew this shit was doomed from the start. Y'all literally have 40 year olds thinking this shit is funny and watching this shit. So, girl, yeah, go ahead and do Black Condo. That shit is original. There are people on Twitter who are coming up with some of the funniest goddamn things. There are people on all. Instagram, YouTube, with a $20 budget, an eviction notice on their goddamn door, and fucking 10 cents to eat some goddamn ramen noodles. And y'all ass out here paying these for hundreds and thousands of whatever money, and y'all out here getting these piss poor ass results. I don't know what made y'all think. We already saying, like, girl, we understand that Wakanda was cute. We Like, we've been over that shit, but a black, black condo, why would you call it when we already know Wakanda is already black? That makes no sense. Like, 
Why would you name that shit Blaconda? That shit is stupid. And put all this damn promotion. Did Marvel give y'all some money for the budget? Cause y'all needed it for the Anita Baker's tribute. Girl, this Blaconda thing. Girl, she was not that girl. I, I hated it. I did not understand it. Jamie Foxx kept talking about it. I'm talking about, he talked about it for 30 minutes. Girl, listen now, I, I, I know award shows are really just stupid at this point. But Jesus, white Christ, like that shit was garbage. Y'all had like, uh, girl, I, I can't, I can't, I can't even come up with the words to describe how irritated I was hearing this Blaconda bullshit. Like y'all really thought, bitch, y'all had really thought y'all was out here delivering us some sliced bread. Like girl, y'all really thought y'all was out here doing it. I bet y'all thought, bro, we gonna kill him with this, bro. This, I'm telling y'all, this is the shit. Yeah, well, Jimmy, we're gonna use this. Like Wakanda is the shit. We can't use that because Disney owns the rights. We can't fuck with Marvel. They're gonna sue the fucking pants off our ass. So we're gonna do uh, Blaconda. It's original. It's straight to the point. And I mean, it's the shit. Let's make it work. I'm going to the board right now. I'm going to talk to Deborah right before she leaves. And we're gonna make this Blaconda. Why? Why? Why do we not call it Blaconda? I mean, we're black. We're in Wakanda. I mean, girl, like, let's get the Panther Claw. Girl, garbage. Anita Baker's tribute. Girl, if I was Anita Baker, I would have said, girl, if you don't get these bitches off this stage. <laughs> oh, my God. If I was Anita Baker, I would have slapped the shit out of the folks who was in control of this shit because it was the ghetto, the ghetto. I'm mean, not talking about the ghetto. I don't even mean, like, poverty and all that. I'm just talking about some, no, this is not what we want. We, we, we don't. We don't want this. And let's back up because I was reading something early and I paid attention to it. I'm sure link in the comment section about there were no female performers um, at all during the pre um, award show. Like y'all had uh, what's his name like as the host, and y'all had silent as a. <laughs> Then y'all had Cassa ass confused as hell. She don't know what's going on. Y'all had no female performance. Y'all had all these folks. Y'all had Big Frida perform. Big Frida got up there and she turned it. I mean, y'all gave her a pre-performance. And, and consider how many folks have beaten from Big Frida's culture and all that shit. Ain't nobody like, Big Frida, can you be on my ship? We don't want your, we don't want your visuals, we just want your audio. Can you be on my ship? We don't want your visuals, we want your audio. I have been told y'all. Girl, let me tell you something. I am tired of telling y'all hoes what the tea is and, and we come to find out it's what it is. Girl, I, I told y'all ass about trash ass RuPaul. What came out? We already know he is. I already told y'all that, you know, that's trash as hell for y'all having Big Frida on the audio and, and on the shit, but y'all don't have him, y'all don't have her in the goddamn songs and shit. Y'all don't have Big Frida in the actual goddamn video. That's garbage as hell, bitch. Bitch trash. Trash. But Anita, I love you, baby. Girl, who do y'all have performed first, girl? I think it was Marsha Ambrosia. Um, Jamie Foxx, he did look cute shit. I felt like I was at some damn cheap ass bar drinking some cheap ass wine listening. Jamie Foxx, you did an okay job, but this is Anita Baker girl we talking about. We're talking about Anita Baker. Like, she been baking vocals for, for I don't know how long. Anita Baker been out here baking albums, baking songs. I mean, girl, everybody, everybody stands up, sweet love. I mean, we, Y'all had Jamie Foxx over here doing this, I don't know, but this razzle dazzle, no Pam, no spam, no ma'am, girl. Get your ass, get, you get your ass out of here. Then y'all go to Marsha on She sing like she got a pillow stuffed in her throat. Marsha, girl, I love you. Honey, I love you. But girl, that was not the tea. You sound a mess. Then let it see. I knew a strong, black, dark-skinned woman had to come out here and sing the house down. Sounded cute. She was out here getting it. Come on, let it see. Girl, but y'all don't want to support Miss Queen Legacy, first of her name, first of the vocals, first of performing live, okay? Queen of audio, okay? Y'all didn't want to give it to my girl. Then Yolanda came out here singing like a good Christian woman. She over here singing, but she was just rapping the stir fry, girl. What you stirring up? What was you stirring up? Um, Corinthians um, 16, 12? I don't know, the girl. That, I don't know where that came from. I'm about to read this shit like Donald Trump. But uh, Yolanda came out there big ass mouth. Oh, 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 oh. She was singing. Sounded good, I like the singer. Girl, performances on performances, girl. But Marsha Ambrosia and Jamie Foxx, girl, that was a trash ass tribute. Anita Baker said she was nervous. I can see why. Girl, Janelle Monet came out. She came out like Mr. Chocolate Factory, girl. The real Chocolate Factory, cause we ain't singing no kids to our motherfucking slave factory, okay? Girl, Janelle Monet is that girl. She can sing, she can dance. 
She is all the queers in me. I love her so much. Jan Janelle Monet, girl, y'all can go ahead and get her um, achievement award or something because Janelle Monet is out here doing it for the culture, okay? The culture that we need to be represented. Like, Janelle Monet is there. <laughs> is, can she do anything wrong? No, absolutely not. Janelle Monet, beautiful performance. I think this was a, a shining moment for you to show folks like, look, I'm that bitch and you're gonna listen. Who else? Her, I gotta go back to you, girl. You make me, folks. This was a defining moment for your career. I'm happy for you, sis. I'm happy for you, like, you are talented. Oh, it, it felt so good to hear people actually come out here and sing and appreciate being on there. Boot up, boot up. Girl, y'all be giving my girl the word, girl. She got that boom. I don't know the words. I know the song is old, but boot up is that girl, she's cute. Um, I like that I was vibing to a girl. I was waiting on them to announce. The female rap, we ain't get none of that. No female rap, we ain't get this shit. That shit is online, Cardi B won that. Since we talking about Cardi B, let's talk about A-list, um, y'all A-list people who didn't show up to the BET Awards. Oh, well, they, they shooting this, they doing that. Let me tell y'all something, cause I'm tired of hearing this bullshit. If the Grammys ask such and such to perform and they shoot the movie, I guarantee they gonna make that shit work. I guarantee they not gonna send a video of them doing no shit. I guarantee you. Y'all literally take y'all ass on the BET Wars, promote y'all shit, get popping, let these white motherfuckers get y'all big ass head, and then y'all wanna piss on the BET Wars, bitch. I'm telling y'all now, I see straight through y'all trash ass shit. Y'all be talking about this black, 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 black. But y'all don't even want to show up to the one award show that recognize you as a black person. Now, I ain't the biggest fan of BET, but I appreciate what they're trying to be. Shout out to Deborah Lee for retiring. Thank God. Because we need a new eye. We need a new lease on life, girl. She's been there 30 years. I appreciate what you've done. I appreciate you for the culture. We appreciate you. But, girl, we need to move on. Boot up. Boot up. Uh, but, overall, BET Awards, how we feel about it. She was a little... She she was... I give her a D. That's it for denying. Um... This was not it. Um, I just, it just wasn't it. Anita Baker tribute was trash as fuck. <laughs> trash, trash. Um, I think the only thing that really spoke to me um, was our girl, who is that? I cannot pronounce her name, but she plays Molly on um, you know, Insecure. We got a chance to see Insecure's, you know, their, their new trailer for them. Shit, sorry about that. Um, her and T.I. did a good job, Trent. Like, you know, that's how you, that's, when you get, like, when you get up in front of podium and you speak and you, and you present stuff, you got to learn how to use inflection. Like, girl, y'all don't be speaking. What is y'all doing? But overall, BT Wars, trash, more trash, and y'all want us to pay count cash to continue to watch this trash? <laughs> You batuna. That's all I got, girl. If you need a list of everybody who won all of this type of shit, take your ass to kingandreese.com. Girl, this is um, signed, sealed, and delivered because y'all did not deliver a fucking tribute for me to be talking about for Anita Baker. Bitch, do better tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all hosts later on tonight. Bye. What is Are that? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? What the Are fuck? you dumb? Are 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 you dumb?